A constructor is a method that gets called at the time of creating an object. You can see we already have the keyboard class defined. Here, we are creating a keyboard object. In our previous lesson, we have seen how it works. Now think about it. There are some common attributes of a keyboard. For example, the language of the keyboard. It can be an English keyboard. It can be a Chinese keyboard and so on. Another common attribute is the connection type. Connection type means wired keyboard or wireless keyboard. These attributes or properties are common to keyboards. It is wise to design a class by initializing these properties. So what we want is whenever we create an object of the keyboard class, these two properties will be created by default. Now the question is, how to do it? We use a special method called constructor to create the default properties. And that is what I'm going to show you in this lesson. So on the top, we define a new method. Look at the name. Double underscore init, double underscore. So init is short for initialize. And this is the method that gets called when we create a new keyboard object. Now press enter. So this automatically adds self in the parentheses. When we create an object using this class, this self keyword refers to the object itself. Now right after self, we want to add two extra parameters, language and connection. To initialize our object, we type this self dot language equal language and self dot connection equal to connection. Now in our keyboard object we use English and wireless arguments. Then print my underscore keyboard dot language. Run the program and we can see English on the terminal window. Do the same for connection. We can see wireless here. Every time we create an object of this class, these two properties will be created by default. And this is how to create a constructor in Python class. Now we are going to create another class with a constructor to practice what we have learned. This time, the class name is About Me. Remember the best practices of naming class names. Each first letter of every word is capitalized. Now define the constructor. Double underscore init, double underscore, then self in parentheses. There are three parameters in this constructor. They are name, address, and occupation. Now we need to initialize the parameters. We know how to do it. Type in self.name equal name, self.address equal address, and self.occupation equal occupation. The constructor has been defined. Now let's define a method named talk. It will talk about myself. We will print using f string format my name, use placeholder, then self.name. Then I'm from again placeholder and self.address and terminate this line using the terminating double code. Then again, use fstring format in the following line and type in I am a uh, in the placeholder self.occupation. The class is ready. Now create an object of this class and use any name you want. I'm using my name, Faruqi. 
Now we have to pass the parameters specified in the constructor. The first parameter is my name, Nujaman Faruqi. The second parameter is the address, I'm from Bangladesh. And the occupation is teacher. All set. Now call the talk method of Faruqi object. Run the program. And we can see my name is Nurjaman Faruqi. I'm from Bangladesh and I'm a teacher. So this is how to create a constructor. Let's see what we have in the next lesson.